Hello, I'm going to try and make a video on how to get your Blender models into the JMonkey engine and how to get animations and textures to work and just make it a uh, nicely working character. I'm not going to go over uh, how the code works or how Blender works. There is good tutorials on that already. Um, when I was doing this I just found there was a lack of information about how the two work together and how to export from one to the other, what you need to do and so on. This is the finished product or a, a working character. Here he is standing. He's not doing anything. I press space, he runs along and it all works. Okay, so I'll just be saying some pointers about what you should really be doing. Right, firstly, this is my box man. Um, first important thing, when you create your armature you want a root bone. You put this in the middle, so if you press Control c like that, it puts your cursor to the middle, and then you can add the armature. You then press control, uh, Shift d that duplicates, move it to there, then you can create your armature from there. <laughs> then, uh, after you've got these in place, do parenting, so in your armature you parent these to that bone, arms to the center, and everything to then to the root bone. Uh, another point, if you go back into object mode, your mesh, if you go into modifiers, bone envelopes, that needs to be off, and click on armature, uh, settings, uh, envelopes there must be off. Okay, so uh, that's the mesh gone over. Animation. Um, animations done in the uh, dope sheets. Add your actions here. I have run. It's running wrong. And stand. These are my two animations which I want my character to use. So here they are, done. Alright, um, you want to put these in the NLA editor. This is what... I don't want that. This is what uh, Ogre uses. You want to put all your animations on one action. Or one line. So you have run, cap, then stand. These names here are what JMonkey Engine will use. You can change them here. Okay, that's the animations covered. UV editing. Okay. You want to do a UV map of your character, so this is what I've done. Um, I don't add the textures now. I had them separately using material files in the JMuggy engine. So you just need to create a nice UV layout. Make sure that your uh, your mesh has a material uh, and a texture here. Otherwise, you won't get a material file. Um, you'll just be using the material file for the UV coordinates, and the texture will be separate. At least the way I do it. So, once you export, oh, no, in UV editing, you want to go to image, no, UV, and export UV layout. That will give you a picture for you to draw on. I use paint.net, just because it's simple. Exporting UV layout will give you that. I've then put a skin over the top, and then uh, everything else on top of that, and, and then I save this as a PNG, and put it in the textures directory. The You want to export using 
Ogre 3D looks like this. You can support export anywhere. You will get these files: material, mesh, and skeleton. These are the anything else you might get. A scene file that's not important. Mesh has the mesh. Skeleton has the armature. Material has the UV coordinates. It's a JMOC engine. You want to create a new material file. Material empty material file. You can call it anything. And then open it, it will look like this. I'm using you can do all, all kinds of fancy stuff, like alpha maps and such. If you just want a plain texture, use diffuse map and then you set it, get your texture which you made and click OK. You also want to make sure your material file, I think it's named material.material, .material, rename that to whatever your mesh is called. Oops. Otherwise it won't work. Okay, in the code, you can load your model and then you type in, I've called my mesh character, character dot set material, and then use this, I've called it boxman material dot j3m. Uh, jmonkey engine will automatically use the material file for the UV coordinates, so that should map onto your mesh fine. That's for animations, that's all handled by the skeleton file. So if you, on the set anim line, you just write in here whatever animation you want, and it will use the track which you made in Blender. I shall show you this this track here. I've only got two. Run and stand. But if you type in that box, that's what it will run. Okay. I think that covers most of the. Uh, things to get from Blender to JMonkey tutorial. I hope this has helped. This is just what I ran into, the problems I ran into doing this. Okay.